since White Sands Beach. This is right across the street from my condo. I try to come here every day. Sometimes I dog paddle for about 30 to 35 minutes. Sometimes you'll even bump into a turtle or two. Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning now. Come on a safari with me. Sometimes over in this area you can find some black crabs. And the reason they're black is so that they blend in with the lava rock. The waves at White Sand Beach today are insane. We have swells of up to 10 feet. Oh my gosh. to go out in these waves. I really did. But they are so high and strong. There's no way I can get out there. This one's crazy insane right here. in five minutes out there now than in 30 minutes of treading water. <laughs> We had a really bad storm last night, and today, huge waves on White Sands. This beach is called Magic Sands, or Disappearing Sands, because depending on when you visit, there may or may not be a sandy beach. That's because when storms or intense waves hit the beach, the sand is swept out into the water, exposing the lava rock underneath. Voila! Disappearing sands. Later, when the waves calm down, the sand is slowly brought back to shore, covering up the lava rocks. Poof! It's magic. When there's sand on this beach, it's a nice place to sit down, relax, and enjoy the water. It can get pretty crowded on a busy day. There is plenty of room for swimming, sunbathing, and snorkeling. A permanent lifeguard post sits right on the beach, as the area is known to receive heavy waves and strong currents. When the sand is swept out, the beach loses some of its appeal, but it's still fun to watch boogie boarders. I came down today to White Sands to see if I could swim. The waves are still pretty crazy. Not going to be doing that but it is fun watching other people ride the surf.
Although there are several other nice beaches in the area, White Sands is great for those who want convenient access to a white sand beach. When the sand is there. Aloha! Until next time.